Welcome to Basic Bangla. We have learned the Bengali alphabet, the consonant sounds and vowel sounds. Today we are going to try to form questions, I mean very simple questions. And we have two keywords. Incidentally, these keywords are key. In Bengali it's also key. And this key is a simple key without stress and this key stressed key. Now see, ka plus e. This becomes this key. We say ka prasve. And this one is ka and dirgoi. And this becomes like this ka dirgoi. We try to form questions with these two keys. Okay? Ka questions means ki, ke, kabe, kothai, kakhon. Ki means what, ke means who, kakhon, when, kothai, where, etc. We are just talking about this ki and this ki. Okay? So, this ki, I mean this ki. This key is a question tag. Example, Tumi ki jabe? Tumi ki jabe? That means, will you go? Tumi ki jabe? You see, there is no stress on this key. If there is any stress, it is on jabe. But, Tumi ki jabe? It means, will you go? Will you go? This will is an auxiliary verb but in Bengali here there is no auxiliary verb when conjugated this verb changes according to the requirement so jabe itself has this will form okay ami jabo tumi jabe se jabe etc etc so will you go it is translated in Bengali like this tumi ki jabe tumi ki jabe jabe is stressed an answer is yes or no. When you use this key, I mean horsey, quite horsey key, then your answer is either yes or no. So tumi ki jabe? Yes, ami jabo? No, ami jabo na. Okay. Now come to the next sentence. Tumi ki thik achhu? Tumi ki thik achhu? Are you okay? Are you all right? So answer is yes, I am okay. No, I am not all right. Right? So yes or no is the answer to this question. And whenever you have answer yes or no, be sure that this key is there. Tumi ki jabe? Well, chalo, amra pore question hai. Apni ki office jan? Apni ki office jan. Do you go to office? Do you go to office? Do is the auxiliary verb. But we do not have any auxiliary verb. This jan verb, it has the idea of do auxiliary verb. It is combined. So, apni ki office jan. Do you go to office? And finally, ami ki aste pari. Ami ki aste pari. Ami ki aste pari. May I come in? May I come? May I join? These are the meanings. Ami ki aste pari. Again, may is the auxiliary verb. And aste pari. These words together convey the sense of may. Okay, then we have used koya horsui ki the question tag key and form these four questions. Once again, listen to the questions and try to remember them. Tumi ki jabe? Will you go? Tumi ki chik Are you okay? Are you all right? Apni ki office jan? Do you go to office? Do you go to office? Ami ki aste pari? May I come? May I come in? etc.
I think you have some idea. That will help you later on. Now come to this key. Koi dir hoi ki. Actually, whenever this key is there in a question, it refers to English equivalent what. And your answer cannot be with yes or no. You have to give a proper answer, something substantial, some name of something. So let's see the examples. Tumi ki khatsho. Now, tumi ki khatsho. I'm not saying tumi ki khatsho. Here, if you put the first ki, koi harsho ki, then pronunciation would be like this. Tumi ki khatsho. Ki is not stressed. But here, ki is stressed. And you see, double I is there. So that you can understand that this ki is stressed ki. Tumi ki khatsho. What are you eating? If I say tumi ki khatsho, it means are you eating? Yes, I am eating. No, I am not eating. But this key is not that key. This key is stressed key, koi dil hui ki. So tumi ki khatsho. You have to give the name of the food. I am eating bread. I am eating rice. Ami bhat khatsho. I am ruti khatsho. I am eating scrambled eggs. Come to the second question. Ami ki bolachi. What have I said? Ami ki bolachi. Well, you have said that Bengali is a nice language. This is the answer. So, Ami ki bolachi. Remember this one. And if I use this key here, what will be the sentence? Ami ki bolachi. If I have said anything, answer is yes or no. So stress matter and also and this way also matter. Now, number three, ki on the car car. What a dark room. Actually, this is not a question, but I want to show that key, this key may refer to surprise element also. We will take that item later. So forget it just now, but just remember that this key has other functions also. Now come to four. Ki jata bolcho. What nonsense are you talking? Ki jata bolcho. What nonsense? What rubbish are you talking? So once again, tumi ki khatsho. What are you eating? Ami ki bolachi. What have I said? Ki ondukar kho. What a dark room. Ki jata bolcho. What nonsense are you talking? Remember one. Nowadays, there is a tendency to ignore this key and use this key in both cases. But when you utter the sentence, there is a question of stress and intonation. There, this key comes very clearly. So it's better to learn both the keys so that you don't have any problem later. So remember, koi hoshui ki and koi dir hui ki. When you use this key, answer will be yes or no. And when you use this key, it is very close to English word what. And you need a solid answer. If you have any problem, Please write to us before writing. Of course, you must see the text associated with this video. This much today. Have a nice time.